What is up YouTube and welcome to this X-Men video. So if you are a long time viewer of this channel, then you will know just how much I love my DC and especially my speedsters. However, one of my very earliest fan fandoms or comics that I loved and read or particularly the 1990s TV show was the X-Men. Now the X-Men is one of my favourite super teams. I don't like really in Marvel what they've done with the Inhumans and how the X-Men are kind of playing second fiddle to those Inhumans. I don't, I'm don't, just not a fan of the Inhumans at all and I love X-Men. However, we have got a new X-Men film coming out. Now, I really, really didn't like X-Men Apocalypse, but I did like the cast in it. I just felt the film was a bit of a mess, to be honest, and I really didn't like Sophie Turner as Jean Grey. However, let's discuss the brand new film. So we are going to be getting the brand new film, X-Men Dark Phoenix. Now, obviously, the Phoenix Force was very, very hinted at in the X-Men Apocalypse, and we had Sophie Turner's Jean Grey kind of be consumed by it early on in the film. And later on, she actually showed and propelled the Phoenix Force as well. So the Phoenix Force is actually a kind of cosmic entity that really does take over Jean Grey's body when she was dying on a space shuttle, and it took her over. Now, obviously, this is a humongous cosmic entity which has existed for all eternity and is a child of the universe. So the Phoenix Force becomes sentient and takes over the body of Jean Grey and later it is actually taken over and corrupted by Jason Wingard, the mastermind who wanted to get into the Hellfire Club, which we saw, of course, in the X-Men movies as well. So, interestingly that they are going there, what happens is the it is taken over and then we have Jean Grey who joins the Hellfire Club and the Phoenix becomes Dark Phoenix after being corrupted by this kind of psychic douchebag Jason Wingard. So, what happens then results in absolute chaos and what happens is Cyclops comes to try and save his love Jean Grey and then what happens results in mega, mega death. So Cyclops is perceived to be killed by Jean Grey. And then Dark Phoenix goes full mega Super Saiyan and wipes out an entire space solar system. And then the Shi'ar Empire, who are quite similar to the Kree and the Skrull, but they are owned by Fox due to their connection with of course, the X-Men there. So we won't be seeing them pop up in the MCU anytime soon, unless we can actually see some sort of kind of name sharing that has been hinted at before. And MCU are working with Fox as well as the MCU heads into space. And most of the space properties are actually owned by Fox due to them having the Fantastic Four and X-Men licenses. So Shi'ar Empire are a humongous power who Charles Xavier was actually linked with the Leandra, the empress of the Shi'ar Empire. And then she decides that, well, Jean Grey and the, has to die because the Dark Phoenix force has to die for everyone else to live. And this leads to a trial by combat between the X-Men as well. So then what happens is we have Jean Grey is given a Kree weapon to kill herself. And so as uh, stop the Phoenix Force from existing so everyone else can survive. So that is pretty much a very abridged version of the Dark Phoenix Saga. And this led to the death of Jean Grey. And weirdly, this has also been kind of resurrected, so to speak, in the Marvel comics as well. Recently, with the all new, all different, as we had the original X-Men crew plucked from the past brought to the future and we had a whole Guardians of the Galaxy thing where Jean Grey is held in trial as well the younger Jean Grey before she ever became the Phoenix Force so that is the abridged version there of the Phoenix Force saga now how does this all fit in with the movies so obviously the Phoenix Force has been revealed obviously in X-Men Apocalypse and then what we have as well we will have the film taking place X-Men Dark Phoenix will take place in 1991 
which is when the legendary run of the X-Men began, the 90s version, when X-Men was the biggest selling comic of all time, the powerhouse of all comics there as well. So we're getting everyone returning, we're getting Jennifer Lawrence, James McAvoy, Sophie Turner, and we're getting everyone back for this movie, which is set in 1991, and will be really, really cool that we get this crew back, and hopefully we will be seeing more of this, and we will be seeing more of the kind of team working together. Now, they will probably take away the whole space thing, I think, as well. We have got Jessica Chastain, who is hinted, and is in talks to play Leandra, the Shi'ar Empire Empress, which will be very, very interesting there. So I'm not too sure how they're going to do this, if they're going to have the Shi'ar Empire, but they are very hinted to be in this movie as well. And the longtime producer, Simon Kinberg, will be taking over directorial roles and issues for this. So Simon Kinberg will be the director for this movie, which is looking really, really cool. Now, not too sure what will happen, how much it will follow on, but obviously we had the Danger Room that was featured as well at the end of X-Men Apocalypse. So that's looking really, really cool, and I'm excited to see just what they are going to do with that and how that will factor in. Now, we obviously we've got Logan, which is set pretty much in his own universe because it's so far in the future from 1991, of course, as well. So let me know, are you excited for this? Are you excited for the Dark Phoenix saga? We, even, we haven't even had the Phoenix saga yet, but it seems like they're skipping straight to the Dark Phoenix saga, which is such a huge kind of world-ending event as well, just after the X-Men apocalypse as well. So I'm hoping to see a lot of cool stuff in this movie. And let, I want to know what you think. Are you excited for this? Do you think it's going to be good? I do. Th I'm, I, I'm optimistic, to be honest, because, well, I love the X-Men just that much. Now, obviously, the timeline is really screwed up. So it seems like since First Class, they have had a, they've jumped a decade every single time. And I think that's how they're trying to get up to the current timeline and get up to probably 2017, 2018 as well for these movies. Now, it's unclear as to how New Mutants will actually fit in with this as well, because they were the ones who came after this group in the comics. So that is it for this video. Please do drop a like. Please do subscribe. I'll see you soon, and goodbye.